Hey guys, welcome back to Phoenix Fab. Thanks for coming back today. Hope you're having a wonderful day. So as you can see, it's kind of crummy out, but we're gonna have a good day in here. That's not gonna slow us down. So I've been doing a lot of thinking lately and we're getting close to the restore part, you know, where we start doing good things for the car instead of tearing her apart. And uh, I think the first step the first step I want to do is probably send it to a body shop to get the rust fixed. I'm really not set up to paint in this uh, garage as you can see and I really don't want to do a bum job so I'm thinking I'm going to send it off to a body shop and get it done there. So first thing is going to be first, I want to have a window company come out and remove all the windows for me. And I want to learn in the process too, I want them to show me how to do it. So I think I'm going to work on getting somebody out here to do that after I'm done getting the trans out today and we're gonna get the uh, the exhaust system out and what else I think that's it but um yeah just chilling in the shop with my pup today so this is Nardo he is our five to six year old pit bull we did rescue him and he's been an awesome dog he's my favorite shop dog is this is about all he does so uh, yeah he's had a happy ending let's give this car a happy ending so First thing that has to happen today is I have to get the exhaust system out and the drive shaft out. So I'm gonna get to it. We've made really good progress today, but we are to the part that I've dreaded the most, and that is the transmission. So this has been in the car for over 20 years, and I don't expect anybody has had the crossmember bolts out in quite some time, so I'm, I am worried about this, but we're gonna give it a shot and try and get it out easy. Easy. And uh, this is what we're gonna use to help us today. I got this from Harbor Freight. It was probably about $150 if I remember correctly. And this is a transmission jack stand. And it's gonna go and lift itself and brace up against the bottom of the trans. I'm gonna wrap this chain around the transmission and then I can lower it out nice and easy. So we're gonna attempt that right now. Well, that was a very productive day. I am so pleased with how well those crossmember bolts came out. We got really lucky there, to be honest. 
So earlier in this video, I said that I would try and work on getting a glass company out here. Well, our wish came true. I have a guy coming out next week. He's going to show us how to remove the front and back window. So stick around for that. And then um, next week, we can start restoring the car. I'm, I'm so stoked for that. So uh, yeah, we're going to get some of that in here too. And uh, right before we go, I just want to show you. So everybody wonders why the five speeds blow up. And uh, a lot of people think that they can just be bulletproof, but here's proof. Nothing's really changed over the years uh, in terms of the case size. And look at the difference. The six speed is just a much better built transmission. The five speed, when you get it under a lot of pr uh, power, it will twist the case. I've seen cases crack. Uh, it misaligns gears when that happens. So. If you're gonna be putting a lot of horsepower through your Subaru, just get rid of the five speed. Do yourself a favor, get a six speed set up. Well, I wanna thank you again for coming today. I can't tell you how much I appreciate you guys and I hope you're having a great day. Thanks again and I'll talk to you soon.